Good morning, everyone. Welcome to College Connection. We have a uh, great speaker today from the College of Health and Human Sciences. And before we get to our speaker, I'd like to thank the my colleagues in the uh, Office of Engagement and Extension Marketing Communications in the IT division, uh, our department, as well as uh, CSU Online. Also like to thank Eric Ishiwata. He is a CSU professor and leading our uh, initiative for the diversity, equity, and uh, inclusiveness for uh, the Office of Engagement and Extension. And he has made the funding available for the interpretation that Ali is providing for us. And so now without further ado, Elise. Hello, thank you, Ruben. My name is Elise Kazmerzak and I am excited to be here. I'm gonna share my screen with you to share my presentation. And I am here on behalf of the College of Health and Human Sciences. My position within the college is student success and student recruitment. And so today I'm gonna to share some information about our college and the majors within it. So we are one of eight colleges at CSU. And in CHHS, our mission is to provide transformative academic research and outreach programs that promote the health and well being of people, their environments, and the communities in which they live. So, we are, as we like to think, the human college, the people college. All of our majors are united by that principle of working with people to better their lives in a whole variety of ways. So within our college, we have eight academic units that you can see represented on our family tree here. Within those eight units, we offer 11 majors and seven minors. So among our majors, some of them are the most popular at CSU, and some of them are more niche and smaller majors. The things that unite us all are the hands-on learning that we have built into the curriculum, as well as that human connection. We like to brag that we have some of the highest graduation rates among all the colleges at CSU. And as a whole, CSU's graduation rates are higher than that of the national average. In our college, we have outstanding career paths and high demand fields in all of our majors, and I am excited to share more of those with you. But first, I want to talk a little bit about our principles of community. These principles are inclusion, integrity, respect, service, and social justice. And as I was thinking about this presentation today and who the audience might be, I think um, some things that came to mind for me were um, my background in 4-H. And I know that we may have some 4-Hers watching this presentation or 4-H leaders or extension leaders. And these principles of community really reminded me of the 4-H pledge and the things that really um, drive everything that we do at CSU are these principles of community. And one thing that I noticed as I was considering um, this job opportunity and working for CSU were how these principles of community are played out in the actions at the, at the university and within our college as well. And I think it's important for prospective students when you're considering what college is gonna be the best fit for you to find a place where your principles, things that matter to you will be represented and will be demonstrated. So I would like to show you a video to help give you um, a little introduction to our college and to some of our programs. So I'll go ahead and hit play. We are the College of Health and Human Sciences at Colorado State University, a diverse community dedicated to optimizing all facets of human health and well-being. In our college, we prepare students across our 11 majors to positively impact individuals, industries, and communities. From the food we eat to the clothes we wear, the buildings we inhabit, and the people we teach, our RAMs align their learning with their passions. If you're an artistic mind and you like to come up with new ideas and implement a massive project and really take over the whole fruition 
of what you want to see into reality, then this is a great path. I was able to find my academic balance in the hard sciences and the soft sciences. I think there's a wide range of classes. A lot of them are about promoting exercise, but there's also a lot of it that's about wellness and like the dimensions of wellness. It's cool to be part of a major and be learning about things that are so relevant to literally everyone's lives. Our RAMs leverage resources that launch them into rewarding careers. As soon as I started thinking about going to school, I took a trip to CSU, came and saw the facilities and the program and basically fell in love. You learn exactly what you need to be doing to either start your own company, jump into a company that you've been looking at for a long time. I believe the professors are the root and the foundation of this program. Not only are they continuously teaching you, but they're continuously supporting you. While you're coming here, your freshman through to your senior year, they're connecting you with people through your classes. So when you do graduate, you already have multiple opportunities, multiple connections to lean on. And Rams in this college foster and create our community. We have a community built here and very much family-like, where I feel welcomed, I feel like I belong. All the clubs that we have, the relationships that we build, the student body is really tight-knit. Um, we do a lot of collaboration. Everybody is so amazing and willing to support you all the time and just happy to see you genuinely and pushing you to succeed. This is where you shape your journey. We are College of Health and Human Sciences Rams. And you can be too. And you can be one too. You can also do it. All right, thanks for watching that short video. Hopefully that gave you um, a little taste of what our college is all about. And I wanna um, just share all of our programs listed here together. So in our college, this slide shows um, our majors listed in, um, in bold. The um, all caps titles are the departments. Then the bolded names are the majors. The bullet points are the concentrations. So we'll go into all of these in a little bit more detail, but as you can see, our programs are quite diverse. We have a wide array of different options, but I wanna share that um, our community is um, as one of the students in the video said, really tight knit. And once you find yourself within the classes in our majors, you'll start to develop the connections, not only with the professors and um, the, the, the teachers in the classes, but also with your peers, with your fellow students. So let's dive right in, starting with construction management. This program is really about the overall work on um, on different industries. So everything from commercial to private, residential, to um, building roads and sort of all, all facets of construction. And it is um, construction managers work with architects and engineers and business people and laborers in order to make the vision a reality. So it's a very hands-on program. Our students get to um, have a lot of practical experience in the construction management industry. They compete in um, competition teams and have done really, really well competing nationally and have won some incredible scholarships and awards for their competitions. Um, as well, this is one of our uh, programs that has incredible placement rates and entry level starting salaries for graduates. In fact, graduates from the construction management program have on average 2.3 job offers per person upon graduation and their starting salaries are over $70,000 per year. So incredible outcomes for the construction management students as well as some really great opportunities to um, get some hands-on work while they are a student. Next up is the design and merchandising department, where we have two majors, apparel and merchandising. This major focuses more heavily on the cultural and historical components of apparel and textile design with the lens of sustainability. They look at the economic, social, and scientific aspects um, that shape the apparel and textile industry. 
So within this major, there are three concentrations. One of them is apparel design and production. Another one is merchandising or product development. Students can also choose from a couple of different minors to add on to this degree or a variety of other degrees. So minors include merchandising and design thinking. Now, I wanna say a couple of things about design thinking. This design thinking minor can really add on well to a whole bunch of different majors. In fact, we have students from the College of Business adding a design thinking minor, um, people from an art background, studio art. So design thinking, this minor allows students to really get some hands-on work in our design labs. So we have wood shops, we have metal fabrication labs, we have 3D printing labs, um, textile printing labs, a whole variety of um, different ways to create. And design thinking is actually one of the top phrases that's searched for in, um, in resumes. And so we recognize that this is a really important skill for a variety of different industries. So design thinking is a great minor to add on to a whole bunch of different majors. Then we have our major in interior architecture and design a fantastic program that gives students a lot of hands-on experience building a portfolio. And um, interior architecture and design is really about everything from the lighting to the flooring and everything in between. Our college has an incredible state-of-the-art uh, facility where our students get to work with different textiles, work with different flooring products, um, and really, um, get experience in a, a real world context with design of um, safe and comfortable spaces. Again, this department is really all about um, blending sustainability with technology. Next up is our School of Education. So in the School of Education, we offer a bachelor's degree in family and consumer sciences. This degree has two concentrations, the family and consumer sciences concentration, as well as family and consumer sciences education. So to become an FCS teacher. This major is truly interdisciplinary. So students in this major will study everything from human nutrition to design and merchandising, personal finance, health and wellness, and a whole variety of subjects in between. So this is a program that we are really proud to offer because we're the only university in the state of Colorado who offers a bachelor's degree in family and consumer sciences. And there's a high demand for FCS teachers in the world. So we find that this program is great at preparing students for teacher licensure. In addition, our School of Education also houses the teacher licensure for 17 different content areas. So if you wanna be a math teacher or an ag teacher or a music teacher or an English teacher or a whole bunch of other different content areas, your teacher licensure would be a combination of our School of Education as well as that concentration area. So it really gives you that in-depth preparation to know the content area, but also to know how to present it, to prepare curriculums and lesson plans, and to be um, really ready for your first experience in the classroom teaching. Next up is our Department of Food Science and Human Nutrition. So in this department, we have three majors, Nutrition Science, fermentation science and technology, and hospitality and event management. Let's start with nutrition science. This program really integrates biological, medical, and social sciences into improving the human nutrition and fitness, as well as prevention of chronic diseases, and just overall improved quality of life. So within this program, there are a few different concentrations you can choose from. Dietetics and nutrition management, if you want to become a registered dietitian, that is a master's degree, which we also offer at CSU. And the bachelor's degree that's most commonly used to get there is nutrition science with that dietetics and nutrition management concentration. 
The next concentration is food science, which is really more um, about like food products and development of foods, things that um, are more nutritious, that last longer, all those sorts of things. And then we have nutrition and fitness. So this concentration really takes a look at how the human body uses the nutrients that we eat. So it looks at um, everything from, you know, working with athletes on their nutrition plans to um, looking at aging adults and youth and how they use the nutrition as well. And the last concentration here is pre-health nutrition. Now, this program really gives students a leg up in applying to medical school. So if you want to become a doctor or uh, a pharmacist or anything that's going to require some additional education beyond a bachelor's degree, pre-health nutrition can help you get there. It includes more rigorous courses in science, chemistry, and those sorts of things to help you prepare for that next step. The next major is fermentation, science, and technology. In this program, students really get into the biochemistry, microbiology, and organic chemistry that happens in fermentation. So there's a whole variety of foods and beverages that are fermented, and there's also the fermentation that happens within your own gut, the gut microbiome. So this program really takes a scientific look at all of those processes, as well as the industries. So the different food and beverage industries that are involved with fermentation. The last major here is hospitality and event management. So within this program, our students are having some really great connections with industry. Everything from hotels and resorts to restaurants and cruise ships. Our students are finding practical career experiences all over the United States and all over the state of Colorado. Um, this program really helps students to prepare for a management position instead of just an entry level position at a restaurant or a resort or something like that. But it gives you those people skills as well. So that takes us to our next program, which is uh, health and exercise science. This is one of our most popular programs and for good reason. The health and exercise science department has two concentrations sports medicine and health promotion. In the sports medicine concentration, our students are doing some really incredible undergraduate research. This concentration is focused on students who are considering um, pre-health professions in things like um, physical therapy, occupational therapy, chiropractic school, medical school. And so sports medicine is really um, focused on giving students some of the research tools and some of those in-depth knowledge about the way the human body works, kinesiology, human movement, and also how to prevent disease through physical activity. The next concentration in health promotion focuses more on giving students some real world application of these skills. So working with clients directly on fitness plans, everyone from adults who are uh, maybe entering a later phase of life who need more um, help with adaptive physical activities to youth in sports camps and everything in between. So the health promotion track really gives students some of that practical experience with an internship built into the program, as well as opportunities to work with clients directly get some of that great experience in helping people optimize their human health and performance. In this program, students also have opportunities to do um, research on things like sleep and um, gait, so the way that we walk, and um, looking at the muscular behavior of folks who have experienced a stroke, and all sorts of incredible fascinating scientific research in our health and exercise science department. Next up, we have human development and family studies. This is a great program if you're interested in looking at how people develop over time. So it looks at the lifespan, including from birth to death and how humans develop. And it really is 
interdisciplinary, meaning it includes elements of psychology, sociology, social work, and biology. So if you are considering um, any type of helping career, these can be things like um, being a therapist or a counselor or um, looking at um, helping people in nonprofits or government agencies, or if you really like learning about the human condition and how to improve human health. This is a great program for you in those ways. The concentrations in this program include early childhood professions. So if you wanna work with kids, but maybe not in that teaching role. The human development and family studies concentration is really focused on giving students opportunities for research in a variety of different ways. Then the leadership and entrepreneurial professions includes coursework in things like economics and leadership studies, political science, those sorts of things, help students become ready for really those um, leadership roles and in nonprofits, government agencies, and startups. Then we have pre-health professions concentration. This is, again, a great track for folks who are looking at maybe graduate school or medical school. Again, occupational therapy um, is a good pathway here, as well as uh, physician's assistant or medical school for a, a, to become really any type of doctor. This program incorporates all of those different elements of human development. Um, so it really it adds a lot to um, a person's sort of knowledge base. The last concentration here is prevention and intervention sciences. This is a great pathway if you're interested in helping people who are maybe struggling with addiction or helping communities as well. This can be um, a really great lens for looking at um, marriage and family counseling, um, counseling and therapy in general as well. In this department, we also offer the early childhood education major. So this is if you would like to teach from um, age pre-K through third grade, we have that early childhood education major as well as the educational licensure. In this department, we also offer two minors, gerontology interdisciplinary minor and the human development and family studies minor. So the gerontology interdisciplinary minor is a great addition to a variety of different majors, but it really focuses on aging populations. Everybody's getting older. And so gerontology is a great lens to look at a variety of different human problems. Everything from um, adding this to say a business degree or a finance degree to think about how older people think about their money to a health and exercise science degree to help people um, with their physical components of life um, and a whole bunch of different things in between. Then the human development and family studies minor can be a great addition to majors like psychology or social work or a variety of other areas if you're just interested in sort of how we develop and change over the course of our lives. And finally, last but not least, our school of social work. Social workers are change makers in so many different ways. This program really focuses on the six foundational roles of advocate, broker, community change agent, counselor, mediator, and researcher. So our School of Education has great um, opportunities for students to have valuable conversations with each other through our small class sizes, as well as um, some really incredible community service experiences and internship and practicum experiences. In fact, our social work program, although it's not one of our larger programs, it's actually a pretty small major in terms of number of students, but they actually have the largest number of professional support team for internship and practicum, which really just shows you how important those real world experiences are for our social work majors. Um, our students are able to get some really great experience working in school districts, in um, county agencies, state agencies, um, and even in businesses. In fact, one of our social work alums actually works for the Denver Broncos, and he serves as the team's social worker. So helping these NFL athletes with 
all sorts of things related to their life experience sort of off the field. Um, so social workers are needed in a huge variety of different settings. So now that we've covered all of our academic areas, I wanna back up a little bit and talk about the overall CSU experience. Now, of course, it includes the academics that our students participate in, including classes, labs, which are much smaller and more hands-on, as well as tutoring, which is, uh, I think, a really important and great option to highlight for everyone. But what happens outside of the classroom is often just as important. And that includes the people who you work with, the people you meet who might become your mentors, including professors, your academic advisors, of course, teaching assistants. Teaching assistants are oftentimes your peers, maybe students who are just a couple years older than you who have taken the class before you, who can then sort of help you understand the content better, help you get familiar with um, the program a little bit more, just give you some of that valuable insight. The resident advisors, all of our first year students live on campus and have a residence advisor who's kind of your go-to person in your residence hall. And then of course your peers. We have mentorship programs for upperclassmen to mentor underclassmen, as well as mentorship with our alumni network as well. So mentorships can really be a great way to um, learn more and, and be able to ask some questions about your future goals and your future career. Then the activities that you'll get involved with, everything from social activities, um, clubs and organizations to recreation. Maybe you participate in intramural sports um, or you go to the games to cheer on the Rams. Maybe you have a job off campus or on campus. That could be a great way to earn some extra money, but also build your resume and your skill set as well. And one that I really think is important is volunteering, giving back to the community, supporting each other. We have a ton of opportunities for our students to volunteer and our students find that that's a great way to, you know, feel good about giving back to their community as well. And then let's talk about the location. Fort Collins is such an awesome college town. It really has everything that you need. It's not too big, like a big metropolitan city, but it's big enough to be um, a great supportive place to live. There's free transportation all throughout town. The, the you know opportunities on campus are really endless for different activities. We're so close to the foothills. We've got horse tooth right there for outdoor hiking. Um, it's a, a great place to sort of move away from home, right? And be supported, feel comfortable, find a community, um, but also have that experience of trying something different too. And then health. We wanna look at health as it relates to your physical, mental, and your emotional health. And so at CSU, we really value all of those things together holistically. So we have doctors, pharmacists, therapists, counselors, and a whole team of support people who can really be your great resources for when you're struggling, when you're feeling sick, and you just need somebody to, to help you. And then let's not forget the future preparation. What is the return on your investment for higher education. We have an excellent career services department who can help with practice interviews, getting connected to your professional network, building your resume, and looking at your future career, as well as possibly graduate school, if that's in your cards too. So all of these things together really make up what we think of as your CSU experience. And I want you to know students, you're not alone in, um, in all of these things. There are some great resources and community here for you to help navigate and for you to help really take advantage of all of these things. So something that I mentioned earlier is the thread that runs through all of our programs is really our commitment to experiential learning. So within our college, we have over 30 clubs and organizations just related to our majors. Then at CSU as a whole, there are hundreds of clubs and organizations that you can choose to be a part of. Some of them are related to your personal identity. Some of them are related to your career goals, things that you like. And some of them are just completely random. So join some different opportunities, some different clubs, and sort of start to figure out where you best fit in within our community. 
We have study abroad in over 70 countries. It's a great time to um, journey through self-discovery and travel and experience the world. We'll talk about that just a little bit more here, just in a second. And then internships and community experience. We really value bringing the work that we do into the community and providing our students with really fulfilling and enriching internship and community experience opportunities. That's something that I really love about CSU as a whole is that part of our land grant mission means engaging with the community in different ways. And so that's a two-way street, right? Our students and our faculty bring their knowledge and expertise and the things that they're learning and studying into the community, as well as we're always listening and engaging with the community for their experience and their personal um, you know, lived experiences. And so how we work together. And then research and teaching assistance. CSU is an R1 research institution. So that means that we are among the top tier in the nation for our research. And we really value discovery and creation and um, creative artistry and developing new things. And part of the way that we do that is through our teaching assistants and our graduate students and our graduate programs. And so as an undergraduate, you really do have a lot of opportunities to engage with research and to learn from some folks who are developing some really awesome things in their areas. I mentioned education abroad, and if you're able to, you can scan this QR code, which will take you to our website that has more information about the education abroad opportunities within our college. And a couple of things that I would like to say about this is, first, I'd like to dispel the myth that studying abroad is vastly more expensive than a semester on campus, because CSU CSU's Education Abroad office has connections with institutions all over the world. So that means your cost per semester is your normal CSU tuition. Plus, there are scholarships available for study abroad. So within all of our programs, we have some sort of well-vetted ideas for study abroad. Some of them are a full semester. Some of them are just a week or two, maybe during the breaks. So we can really help find the option that fits what you're looking for. Next up, I want to share some student resources. So within our college, CHHS has scholarships for students specifically within our majors. CSU has scholarships for students as well. Um, and one that is coming to mind right now is um, a scholarship for students who have previously been involved with 4-H and all the different leadership opportunities that you participate in before college as well as during college are really important with those scholarship applications. CHHS offers faculty and teaching assistants who are really truly highly regarded in their fields, some of them award winning and nationally renowned. Plus, we have an incredible team of advisors and academic success coordinators. These people can really help you to plan your schedule to make sure that you're on track with everything that you need to be doing to graduate on time. And then peers and upper level mentors. There are opportunities for our students to step up and take a mentorship role, as well as have a mentor who has sort of been there, done that. And then across campus, we have the Health and Medical Center, which I mentioned has doctors, pharmacists, counselors, and therapists for students. The Institute for Teaching and Learning, which includes many different tutoring offices. The Writing Center, because you'll write a lot of papers in college. You can get help with those papers at the Writing Center. The Student Disability Center can help with accommodations for any type of visible or invisible disability. Even temporary disabilities can be accommodated for. Then the Student Cultural Centers. CSU has seven Student Cultural Centers and they are really the hub for connection and learning. So connection with people who might look the same as you, who might have similar personal identities, but also connection with people who have different backgrounds from you as well and great opportunities for a lot of fun and learning to take place. Then we have our residence halls and the residence assistants. I mentioned our incredible career center as well as health professions advising. 
who can really help our students who are thinking about graduate school, medical school, and all types of health professions to prepare and um, kind of know what to expect with those different areas. So next I'd like to share with you um, some perspective from our students. If you are able to and you'd like to scan this QR code, this will take you to our collection of videos from all of our different majors. So you can learn a little bit more about the majors from our CHHS RAMs. And that brings me to the end of my presentation. This final slide here has the contact information for each of our different academic units. So feel free to reach out to them via email or phone, as well as my contact information. Email is probably the best way to get a hold of me if you have any questions. I am so happy to answer those via email, or I can go ahead and answer any questions that you have now by sharing them in the Q&A feature in this webinar. Thank you so much. Elise, thank you for that very, very informative uh, presentation on the College of Health and Human Sciences. Um, Nicole, I know you said you were gonna be monitoring the chat or do we have any questions in the Q&A feature? Or if you want. Yeah, I'm not seeing any questions yet, but yeah, feel free to jump in if anybody has a question. <laughs> And Elise, while people are up, oh, there comes one. Yeah, Elise, what kind of support is there for first gen students? That's the question. Love that question. Um, yeah, I am a first generation student myself, and I think this is a really important piece of what we do to support students. Is if you're the first one in your family to go to college, you might not know what to ask or who to ask or what support services there are, and so. A couple that are coming to my mind right now are an internship program that we are launching this year. We're really excited about for first generation students um, to participate in uh, a mentorship with an alum. So an alumni from their area. So you can start to kind of learn more about their career, learn more about their path. Um, sometimes people's path to their career looks really unexpected and different from what you might think. So I think it's a, a great opportunity for um, for our first generation students to talk with alums. Um, we also offer um, courses that we encourage first generation students to take within their first semester at college. And this course is worth college credits and it's a great way to learn about the, the college, the lingo, right? We, we use a lot of acronyms in college. And so this course can help break some of those things down, help provide some additional resources, um, as well as providing a community of other peers, other people who are also first generation. And so um, you start to kind of build your connections with your fellow students that way, as well as your staff and faculty that way. And the last um, thing that I'll just mention is that we have scholarships specifically for first generation and racially marginalized students. So um, we really value um, that, that support financially too, right? Like sometimes that makes a huge difference in being able to go to school full time is just an additional scholarship, right? So I love that question. Thanks for asking. I have a question, at least I know a former student, a CSU student who transferred to Front Range uh, Community College when the pandemic hit and didn't want to go into debt, taking online classes, is taking uh, classes there in hotel and event management, how easy would it be for that student, former student to transfer to CSU to get a bachelor's degree in, in that area? Mm -hmm. Great question. Yeah, we are um, working on partnerships with Front Range in a variety of different areas. Um, we know that a lot of our students either choose to start at Front Range or maybe take classes there while they're taking classes at CSU. And so, um, a couple of tools that I like to mention are um, one called transferology.com. Transferology is a great tool because it allows you to search your specific courses and, and see how they transfer from one institution to the other. So I like to mention that, but an even better tool is working with your academic advisors. And if you know that you wanna go into a certain major at CSU, connecting with the academic advisor from that department can be a really helpful way to just 
make sure that everything is going to be seamless and your transfer process is going to be smooth. So that's my best um, advice for transfer students. Um, in addition to that, our website has all of the curriculums for each major listed. So you can really get into detail with um, the course number, what is um, a part of that course, so you can kind of see yes, this is the same as what I'm taking, and then using that transferology tool also to kind of make sure that things will transfer over. Oh, Ruben, I think you're muted. Thank you. I, uh, thank you, Elisa, for that great presentation and for answering our questions. Um, uh, this session has been recorded, so we're hoping that you will share this with students that you're working with. And just wanted to remind you that our next session is on November 1st, and a representative from the Walter Scott Jr. College of Engineering will be presenting information about the uh, majors that they offer there and all of the other opportunities available to students. So until next month, thank you so much again to my colleagues for making the webinar series possible. Elise, thank you for that great presentation, and we look forward to seeing you next month. Bye-bye.